We are we are. Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome, yeah. welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Look Club. Tonight, we are getting wild. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's so fun. Oh, I had to make that lame joke. So we're being, we're being animals tonight. We are, uh, so this is Look Club Live and each, uh, every other week, we um, pick a few different, we make our custom creative capsule out of Electra products and we have a prompt to some sort of inspiration and we do a look based on that prompt and tonight is animals. So if you're watching at home, feel free to get ready with us, get all dressed up and nowhere to go. It's more fun than you would think. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, yeah, and I definitely look forward to these weeks when I get to um, experiment with makeup a little bit. Yes, me too. Thank you. It's nice to see you, Danielle. Yeah, it's good to see you, Katie. Um, yeah, so we're doing animals this week, and hopefully, you will get even if you're not doing a look tonight, get inspired and maybe do an animal look coming up. Uh, or maybe an abstract animal look, or you could just this could be a costume look for you in the future. So I'll quickly go over the products we picked. Danielle and I are still deciding what animals we want to be. Um, so tonight we are doing, um, this is Fleur de Lis, our power pigment, a mineral um, uh, powder that we have that you can use dry, um, mixed with uh, different primers or bases. Um, so we got Fleur de Lis Sazerac, which is one of my favorites. It's kind of a reddish. It's not really coming up there, but you'll see when we use it. Very beautiful Sazerac, a reddish brown, um, rich and, and warm like the drink. I've only had one Sazerac, and it was very strong. Um, are you a Sazerac gal, Danielle? No, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of anything that tastes like like alcoholy alcohol you know right. i like this i like the sweet stuff i like stuff that i'm like oh this is like i'm drinking juice <laughs> yeah that you do like that. um yeah, my mom had a sazerac at the sazerac bar at the roosevelt once and i so it was you know this much alcohol for 14 dollars <laughs> so. the tiniest sip and i was like oh i see why because that is 40 dollars worth of drunk right there <laughs> um so but Beautiful, we love Sazerac the pigment at the very least. And then um, we got a beautiful dark rue, a rich brown, and um, obsidian, which is our black. Um, it's not exactly a matte and it's not exactly a shimmer. It's just this really pretty black. So um, that's what we're working with today for our power pigments. And then I have, Danielle, do you have golden bronze bolt bomb with you? Um, nope. Oh, <laughs> I, I repacked, you know, like I took my, I was, I took, uh, I had a staycation where I didn't come to work last week. And, uh, so I kind of brought my suitcase home with me and I didn't bring any bolt bomb back. So I'm going to have to, I'll have to do something else. Dude, yeah, no worries. Well, I figure um, we're going to be mainly working with the pigments tonight because probably, I guess maybe for the first time. And hello, hello, so thanks, Society. Yeah, if you're tuning in, say hello. Let us know who you are so we can see because I can't see from here. If you say hi, well, if you say hi, I know you, who you are. But <laughs> I can't. You're just little eyeballs to me. I don't know who you are until you say hello. But uh, Sylvain Society says, love, 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 Electro Cosmetics. Thank you all so much. Yay. Um, Sylvain Society, Young Professionals. Um, so today we're going to be using these almost like, uh, we're going to kind of be using the pigments as like face paint. So I didn't pick us a micro fine to use today because I thought we're going to be animals. Let's get just different shades so we can be whatever animal we want to be, which as of till now I am undecided. I'm undecided on my, what animal I'll be. But I am leaning towards, do you have any ideas, Danielle? <sighs> I'm kind of, I was looking up, you know me, I love my Pinterest. So I was on Pinterest and, uh, sorry, I'm trying to figure out, I'm on the, I'm on the comments, but I don't know how, there you go, get back to the screen. But, um, I'm undecided, but I was kind of looking at rabbit 
faces. Oh, okay, cute. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mainly just kind of want to play around and see if I can make like an animal nose. And um, speaking of my Pinterest, I, I need my phone for that. <laughs> yeah, I we have talked about fawn. We really like fawn makeup, and I've never been a doe. Is that the same thing? A doe and a fawn. Hit me up in the comments if you know the difference. A doe, a deer, a female deer. A fawn, a baby deer, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, a fawn has its spots. A fawn ha has the spots, it, but it still can be a doe or a deer? No. Correct. Oh, all right. Well, there we go. Um, so, yeah, we've got this neutral palette, so we can go, we can go whatever. Rabbit, leopard, giraffe. Um, so, I think that's a good idea to start with the nose mm -hmm. of an animal. A lot of times when I do a costume animal, I'm like, I'm a sexy version of that animal. So I do my <laughs> makeup and then I really like hustle to do the whiskers or the nose. But like, really, that's the important part, right? That's the important part. So maybe I will think about that. Um, I might have to pull up a picture of a doe as well i could or i don't know also hit me up in the comments if you've ever done leopard makeup i i know in theory how to do it and i have done it once before but it did not look great so i don't know if that means this is my time i should try it. <laughs> i mean there's no time like the present right that's true that's what the look club is all about um experimenting having fun i'm just starting with a little eye promo oh yeah i'm gonna do that too um, I'm going to start with, speaking of experimental, oh, um, Danielle, this is our experimental eye primer that we will be hopefully launching soon. Um, Danielle Elizabeth Seagraves is not in the comments yet, but she is once an eye primer. Um, I think I mentioned it a while back, but I forgot. I haven't gotten in touch with her. So I think that, I think that can be arranged. Can be arranged. See, these are the, this is why you, uh. If you're a all-star electrolyte member of the look club, you get you get the skinny early. Um, you get the perks, baby. Um, but yeah, so we um I think today though, oh there's Elizabeth. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Of How the was devil. your tour, Elizabeth? I saw that you were back at your tour guiding after being off since December. I know, which is crazy. So um uh, Elizabeth says she's hello and she's only done unicorn and butterfly look. I've never done a butterfly. Ooh, Ooh. Butterfly looks would be fun. You know, Ooh, that is, is coming idea. up. We could do butterfly looks. That is a good idea. Butterfly look. Yeah. Cause butterflies are so many different colors. And Elizabeth said, yay, definitely want the eye primer. Um, but, uh, yeah, butterfly is a good look. Um, Elizabeth has some good suggestions in our Facebook group, the uh, Look Club uh, Facebook group, which I can, let me pop a link in here. If you're not a member of our um, Facebook group, it's a private group because we get to, we post pictures of stuff that we, you know, our, um, our test. We create. Yeah, what we create. Um, let's see. Get this. So, you know me, I like to break the rules and I'm already using just a little primer eyeshadow on but i don't know i sometimes just like starting with that all right rules are meant to be broken exactly all right so um elizabeth says her tour was great she had great ladies and so much fun they loved my glitter isn't that nice when you can form a bond and a friendship immediately upon meeting someone because you're just you have glitter on and or you're just People know you're fun. They're like, hey, that gal's fun. She's got glitter on. Have you ever seen someone wearing glitter and they were just rude and mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's, a, I, I, I don't know. I don't think that that's physically no. possible. <laughs> you're just like at the DMV and the, <laughs> the lady just has an attitude, but she's um, wearing glitter. <laughs> like, um, I like your glitter. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a secret code. It's a wink to let people know. Hey, I get it. We're I'm fun too. I cannot be contained 
by my mere mortal presence, I need glitter to let people know how fun I am. Um, do, do, do. So right. I'm just going right in here with, oh, what color am I using? I'm using a little Sazerac on my eye and I'm actually mixing it in with our gel transformer, which is really, um, I just, I love using the gel transformer. It's so, I don't know, it just turns it into like this perfect paint. And I can really get, you know, sharp defined edges and it's a lot of fun. I'm using an eye primer on my nose right now, just since I'm going to be kind of painting my nose. Ooh, good idea. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to start using the pigments dry. Um, so Kat, one of our other um, uh, folks in the group, um, ha has, uh, I like Elizabeth too, has all 30 of our power pigments, so has had a lot of a uh, chance to um, experiment and Kat is really good. She said, you know, blend first with the pigments dry and then use either the liquid or the gel transformer if you need a little more, if you want to do eyeliner, or you want something a little bolder. So I'm going to try to heed the advice and go and go dry first. <laughs> I get too excited. <laughs> I'm going to try to go dry. And I definitely like your idea, KP. I'm going to do some eye primer because I'm going to be doing a more, I don't know, make like costumey look. I'm going to add some eye primer where I wouldn't necessarily have it. Just so. Oh, it's a heart. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> I'm using dark rue. Um, it's cute already. I'm glad you said nose because again I usually go like when I'm a unicorn or a mermaid which I'm gonna say is an animal um I uh, those are definitely animals yeah they're they're a hybrid actually so they're um the Louisiana Ren Fair you know this Danielle but they're having their for the first time this in the spring in April they're gonna have like a pirates convention or pirates part I don't know festival and so Brian's putting together his pirate costume. It's called Pirates of the Poncho Train, if anyone's interested. And um, he, I was like, maybe I won't be a pirate or a wench or whatever. Um, I, I was like, maybe I'll be like a barnacled sea creature or maybe I'll like, just I can't stick with the theme apparently. But I was like, instead of being a pirate, maybe I'll be like a siren or I don't know. Ooh, that's kind of a cool idea. But I might just end up. Going. Sounds like it might be a good field trip, also for the sirens of New Orleans, those mermaidy folks. Oh well, yeah, that's true. I should tell them maybe. I... But because I, I I feel like at the Renaissance Festival, people dress. This is not the right brush for what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do some contour, and I'm undecided on how I want to do it. But that's not right. Um, you need a thinner brush. So um. Yeah, I feel like at the Renaissance Festival, there's tons of different way, like things people dress as, and then sometimes people are just wear whatever they want. You know, they're like, I'm gonna be a Jedi at the Renaissance Fair, because they're just like, that's nerdy, that works. Um, but I feel like at a pirate festival, there won't be a ton of uh, different costumes. I feel like it'll just be awesome pirate costumes, but I don't know, I've never been, so. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> that is very rabbity. They are. <laughs> I'm gonna be a rabid rabbit. <laughs> oh, um, you just have distemper. There, <laughs> you're gonna have a something. Meredith says beautiful. Thanks, Meredith. I hope maybe maybe I hope she's serious. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Andrea says my husband. Hey, Andrea. And hey, Meredith, too. Uh, my husband would 100% be, 100 be the Jedi guy at the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> yeah. um, There's nothing wrong with the Jedi guy at the Renaissance Festival. No. Oh, yeah. They are super into Star Wars. I was, um, I can't remember why I was stalking some of your photos recently, Andrea. But anyway, and I saw um, some pictures of you, of you and your husband, and I was did we just become friends on Facebook? I don't know, but I was looking at your photos and I was like, oh, they really do like Star Wars. That's why they have the Star Wars Christmas tree. 
All right, so I came in kind of intense. This is still dry. This is our power pigment, completely dry, um, dark rue. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend to my uh, contour to make kind of come down on my nose. That's not right. After doing these look clubs every week and um, honestly, just because during quarantine, doing my makeup at home is the only thing I had to keep me creative and or sane. Um, I'm like finally learning what all of my makeup brushes do. I used to just like have my tried and true ones. And I, even though I read them and I know what they're supposed to do, I'm just like, eh, I'll just use that one. And now I'm like, oh yeah, that one works better. That's why it's made for that. Let's see, Andrea says, I posted a pic from our wedding on Valentine's day. We had a lightsaber arch entering our reception. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That was an awesome picture. Good, thank you, because that would have just, I'm like, I, I know I was stalking your photos for some reason, I can't remember why. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll try this brush. Okay, so instead of a blending brush, I'm thinking I might, yes, this is what I need, this fat angled brush. The, ooh, so I love the dark roux, now that I'm kind of blending it out, it's like turning into this pretty gold, if y'all can see. Um, I think I am gonna go for a dough. Um, let's see, Midori taught the dames to connect the eyebrows down to the nose with the contour to be more animal or insect-like. Yes, thank you for reminding me of that. I looked at some pictures earlier today. So that's what she's saying is I'm going to take this contour and go into my brows um, so that I look more animal-like. Yeah. That um that's Sazerac one you Danielle or that's no that's um Flirtily. Um yeah, Flirtily. Flirtily is a really pretty antique kind of bronze color. Um or really like a gold like a bronze gold, antique gold, I guess. But it looks really pretty. If you could have a pretty mustache, that would be <laughs> a lady. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> a pretty mustache. I love it. All right. What else am I looking for? <sighs> I love, I need, I need some brows, Katie. You need them. I don't know. I'm glad you said nose because now I, I feel like it's, I feel like that's a, a smart place to start. So you're like a hair kind of, huh? You're going to be a hair? Yes. Yes. I'm going to be a hair. Hopefully. That's, Hopefully. that's, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we might become something different. So I'm not, um, so that's why when I've had to do leopard, I'm not great. I was going to say, I'm not great at doing, um, uh, random spots, something that's a little, but I'm also not good at very specific drawing either on the face. So I don't know if I'm gonna say I'm not good at um, uh, being, drawing specific lines and shapes, but I'm also not good at like free form either. Let's see, Andrea said, I love that color, is that Sazerac? If you're talking about Danielle, she's doing flirtily. And if you're talking about my nose, um, doing dark root. Oh, or you mean Danielle's eyes, maybe, is Sazerac, right? Danielle? For what? Your eyes is, is your Sazerac is on your eyes. Is that correct? Yep. yep. Sazerac is on my eyes. Sazerac is on her eyes. And I think I'm going to take a little flirtily and do down the bridge of my nose and see what happens. Oh, my nose is, um, is dark rue. Yeah. So you see it was, you, it's dark rue, but then I kind of, um, as I smudged it, it kind of turned a little gold, like or the gold bits really come out. Ah, that was more than I meant with the fleur de lis. So let me. Hey, Brian. gonna say I need to use my blending brush but I literally use my blending brush to um I think he needs to go potty if you don't mind all right let's see that too I think that I feel like that's too to the same color 
Mm -hmm. what, what do y'all think? I feel like now I just look like the uh, scarecrow from the... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to, to wipe that off. <laughs> I, I thought it was much cuter before. I don't know from... No, I look like the scarecrow for sure. <laughs> Could be the cowardly lion. Um, Ooh, Wizard of Oz. Wouldn't that be a fun? We need to remember these. Someone write these down, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I, <laughs> I mean, it's really like I can't stop thinking about the cowardly lion. I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, I guess I, yeah, I could be a cat. Wizard of Oz would be so awesome. That would I, be super fun. I'll add it. Um, Andrea had good ideas too uh, for costumes we could do or uh, look clubs we could do on steampunk and uh, rainbow, oh, Disney characters. And Rainbow, we are definitely going to do closer to Pride. And um, same with Elizabeth suggested, we're going to do St. Patty's Day in two weeks from now. So that'll be fun. That'll be my uh, my dress up. I, I love going. Um, I actually usually go to Batners for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. So I'll have my own parade in my in my own little corner at my house during the look club <laughs> or after the look club. All right. I feel like I took the cuteness away. I'm going to grab a highlighter. This is not technically in our, um, our four power pigments, but I'm grabbing golden hour, which is one of my favorite highlighters or brow bone color or inner eye corner color, inner eye corner color. Um, I'm going to go back over that. Just kind of see if I can get that back. To If not, maybe I'll be the cowardly lion. All right. I think what will save me, I'm going to go, um, not now, but I'm going to go with a Maybe a bolder line on the nose. And I might even take a little obsidian, this black, and get a little, I give it a little boop. Uh, Andrea said, yes, I used to ride in the parade every year. at St. Patty's Day Parade in Baton Rouge. And, wow, I've never ridden it, Andrea, but... I wonder, I guess maybe you're on a more family friendly float, but I would see sometimes the, the uh, LSU frat boys and they they would just have people just so drunk on those floats. And I'm like, hey, you're in a parade. Remember to throw beads. And they're like, yeah, they were just on a mobile drunk machine. All right. I don't know if I made it any better, but it's, uh, it's happening. It's happening. All right. So I'm going to do what, Elizabeth slash Midori said, and I'm going to work my way into the brows and then we'll see. You can't get, I, I, I made a little bit of a mistake. Tickles. <laughs> tickles. What did you say? That tickles. I just put this on my lip and it tickles. I thought you just kept saying testicles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yay. Midori's here. Hi, Midori. Um, Midori says that trick always Contours of the face have changed the look from human to more animal or insect-like. Thanks for remembering. Yes, Midori, you always have fantastic tips. I remember your tips from wig styling. I'm still not great at it, but I still remember them. <laughs> All right. And I am going to go in with the um, dry pigment. And then when I fill in my brow, I'm going to... Mix it in with that gel transformer. And by the way, if you um, are, know our products and you don't know what we're talking about when we say the gel transformer, um, it's actually a newer product that we do not sell online yet. Um, but we do have, if you're interested in it, um, we sell it at our headquarters or we can ship it to you. We just have to do it. You just need to let us know. Message us on Facebook. Email us something. And we can ship it to you. It's the same price as our liquid. We just haven't officially released it yet. 
Um, so Andrea says, yeah, all the crazy drunken float guys and started afterwards. Those float don't throw anything the entire route. I know. Come on. You got to give the people what they want. Beads. I do like that that Baton Rouge parade, though, because it's just it's really family friendly. And oop, look, I'm already I feel like I'm already becoming an animal. This is the moment when I can tell how uneven my eyebrows are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hello, hello, or the other way around. I'm like, hello, what? I always look very like I'm questioning. See, I have a bitch face, but it's my eyebrows fault. What can, what can I do? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting very animal already, Danielle. You are definitely seeing it. Um, Andrea says the gel transformer is awesome. Agreed, agreed. I love it. In fact, I think I'm just going to go ahead. Actually, no, I want to blend out a little bit what I just did right here. See, I might actually, so Danielle always likes, when we do look club, she likes to pull up a, um, a Pinterest photo to get uh, inspiration. Um, but I usually just go for it and then kind of don't do anything as bold as I meant to do. And um, But I feel like when you have a photo, sometimes that helps. So I might need it with an animal, though, because I don't, I don't know what the animals look like. Okay. So I wonder if I should make this part. No, I guess I shouldn't make this part of my nose dark since this is supposed to be the tip. Okay. I just, I'm like, okay, Midori, you're here. Tell me what to do. Um, <laughs> Elizabeth says, uh, agreed gel transformer. Awesome. Loved it for eyeliner and finally use it for coloring eyebrows on Mardi Gras like Kat suggested and loved it. Yes. Nice. I know we learned so much in the look club and really from Kat. Kat, um, she, yes, she, She's the one that told me as well to do the eyebrows with the gel transformer, and it is fantastic. Fills all the nooks and crannies, whatever color you want. All right. I think I am going to go for the gel transformer in the brows now, and I'll just show you all since we I won't shut up about the gel transformer. I'll show you all us mixing that together. Oh, let me grab it. Do bunnies really have a split in their lips? <laughs> Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, it's, I haven't pet a bunny in a while. I, I don't pay attention to that sort of thing. Yes, I had uh, bunnies growing up, and they definitely did. They had, you know, they have a split, and then they've got the little thing right there. See, I need to pull up a dough. I need to pull up a dough. Okay, so I got my gel transformer. And I'm using dark roux. The oh, I don't know if y'all can see. I'm just going to do two drops, or one fat drop, actually. It looks like it. That was funny. Um, into my dark roux, which is what I have on my nose and my going up towards my eyebrow. And I'm going to mix the gel transformer with the dark roux to fill in my eyebrows. Ooh, it's, this is such a pretty brown. I don't know if y'all can see the gold. It is beautiful. The glimmering gold that's coming through, but I love it. I wonder if I should have gone more like, hang on, I'm pulling up a picture. I'm pulling you up. You definitely seem dough-like. Well, I wonder if I should make my brows not curve as much as I just did. If I should make them kind of go straight across. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, I'm looking at other girls. They have their just regular brows. Okay. All right. Fine. I had to check the internet, y'all. Okay. I think it depends on like how, I don't know. It depends on your, like how into it you want to be. Like if you're, if it's like a beauty dough look, then I would think that you would do more regular dough or, you know, regular eyebrows. But if you really are like going for it, going for it. Um, it might be more costumey to do. Fuller. Yeah. See, Andrea says, um, y'all, my husband got me one of those painters palettes for Valentine's Day after I saw it on Look Club and said, that's a great idea. Oh, that's so cute. Aw, that's so sweet. Oh, that's nice. That was from Pepper uh, Pepper Glitter Pants. That, that was my Christmas present. But that's really sweet. It, 
isn't it nice when people are thoughtful and then they remember a thing you just passingly said and then you, they get you a gift like that? My mom is especially good at that. And that's a, a quality, a good quality in a human being. So it's a great quality in a husband. Do rabbits do that? It, it looks very rabbit like what you're doing. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it, it looks I like what's happening. You're not just blowing smoke up my ass. Have I ever? <laughs> uh, for that one time, good. I couldn't get the angle right. <laughs> oh, that was too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you're looking rabbit like really fast. Okay. I'm wondering if I can. So when I look at the does, they kind of have like white spots. I was wondering if I could use glitter instead, but I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, I also have a split apparently um, to be a dough, um, but I think I'm gonna go with a split lip. We got a, we got split lips up on her. I think I'm gonna do black instead of brown because I've got a lot of dark brew that's happening. Um, and it looks like oh no, that line. I did some. I did something weird. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. Ugh. Totally rabbit like Danielle Elizabeth says, was that my friend's Friday and her bunny did that and much more. <laughs> What's more? I wish I had a carrot right now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, hey, Taylor. I've never seen Midori's face outside of makeup, Taylor says. Uh, um, Maybe Midori. one day we can get Midori to come be a guest. I know, we want to. Midori, the fans are asking. We need to see you barefaced and then get into your makeup. Um, I'm going to go with gel transformer with the obsidian because um, I was not getting a very clean line with um, my uh, with the obsidian dry. Oh, I can use a. I should use a finer brush, probably. Let's see. Let's see. Let me try one more time. There you go, that's dry. And that was good, it was just the brush. Rhonda and I are watching. Hey Taylor and Rhonda, y'all are so sweet. Thanks for tuning in. Y'all tell us if we look like animals. <laughs> Danielle, you definitely look like a rabbit. Bambi the bunny was chowing down on bananas and hay that night. So there you go, Danielle. If you have any bananas or hay, you, you could chew on that and it would really- I mean, sell. I have some apples. Would sell it. I could see that. I could see apples working. Okay. Let's see. So see, this is smart because normally, like I said, I would spend way too much time on my eyeshadow and then realize, oh, here are the important details I'm not doing at all. So now that I'm, I'm starting with my nose and my lips and then I can just probably quickly do a couple of colors on my eyes because uh, deer don't have eyeshadow, really. Oh, you have ears? <laughs> you're like i'm done <laughs> i'm not quite done but you look cute yeah you need whiskers oh yeah i do need whiskers i need a more i'm not i'm this is just a know. very good base layer um oops, okay so let's see i never normally look at oh i'll do some contour on the face i'm moving slow per usual but it's all good <laughs> All right, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some Sazerac as contour. Whoa, hello. Hi, guys. Whoa. Okay. Maybe that's, maybe that's blush. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, I do feel like I need more of a contour. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to follow suit with a little, a little, Say as a rack. Say as a rack. Andrea says Danielle is getting into character. She has her. She's getting into her method acting. She has her ears on. All right. That was not exactly what I wanted. Oh shoot! I forgot I put transformer in that. Da, da, da. All right. That's not gonna wanna. <laughs> <laughs> We are contouring. It is happening. All right. Holy moly. <laughs> what did you just I just, 
You look so freaking cute. I can't. <laughs> Something's happening and it's weird. Something. Whoa, whoa. What am I missing? I need I need a little help. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to try to blend. That was too red, whatever. The doing the Sazerac, which is I forgot we Sazerac is like such a pretty blush, but it's not really working for what I'm trying to do right now. And I accidentally use a transformer so trying to blend that out okay <laughs> i'm a very bronzed bunny <laughs> <laughs> you're a, you're a bunny like in palm springs or something you just have exactly i mean that the half all right i really love sazerac as a blush a pretty I'm starting to look animal-like. I don't know if it's the right animal, but you know, who cares? It's an animal. Okay. Oh, when Talk we're done, about having fun. Yes. When we we're done, you'll have to. We'll have to name ourselves, or some, or no. Daniel, Andrea is so good at naming. Um, so we'll have to have Andrea name our 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 uh, bunny and and doe. If I stay a doe. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like I wanna. Are you gonna work out after this, Danielle? Sometimes after little club, Danielle goes and works. Oh, when I go to get the 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 gym key from the front desk, looking like a bunny. <laughs> I love it. In Zootopia, we look like animals in Zootopia. Um. Okay. Oh yeah, I need my fur. I need my fur head. Need to dirty up my, dirty up my head. Um, you okay, should go right here in the center of my forehead. Would that seem like a bunny? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think you could still kind of keep it light there. I don't know. Oh, so while everyone in in the comments. Tell us what your um, what animal you think that really evokes your personality. Like, what are you? What animal are you? Uh, so Danielle and I happen to be being rabbits and deers today. But what what is your what animal do you think is just represents who you are as a person? I don't have an answer for this for myself, but I'll be inspired by y'all and I'll have to think. I don't know. Some people are like my mom is like she loves elephants. That's like her thing. Some people love owls. Um, do you have a, do you have an animal, Danielle, that you identify with? I like insects, like butterflies, um, but I really love peacocks. Peacocks are beautiful. That is true. But yeah, I definitely like the boy peacocks. Oh, those are the prettier ones? Yep. Uh, Andrea says alpaca. Uh, Elizabeth says cat and unicorn. Well, of course. Mm -hmm. And then I mean, Dory's in here. So of course, unicorn. Um, Andrea says, I hope I get reincarnated as a house cat. Yeah, they got it made. I mine does at least. We all do our cat's bidding. Her name is Minion. Um, will you grab me a, a clear lip gloss? Oh, shoot. I don't know where. I don't, I'm, I don't have all my things today. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so uh, house cats, I feel like definitely have it made. Um, our house cat never even uh, act. I, I didn't even know if she liked us for 10 years, but then she started having seizures. And after about six months of having to give her life-saving medication, now she's like, we cool. I realize I cannot live without you. <laughs> and now she, really, now she really likes us. So that's all it takes if anyone has a cat. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do my top lip. Looks like I have a tart, a top, a dark top lip. And let me see if I'm looking at my photo. It looks like they have skinny top lips. You got a skinny. Andrea says, I just want to knock over stuff without much repercussions and sleep all day. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Unfortunately, my cat doesn't break too much shit, but when they do, oof. 
Well, they pick expensive stuff. <laughs> well, our cat decided they like butter. So in order to get to the butter, that means knocking the butter dish off of the countertop. And yeah, it didn't, it didn't survive the drop. But they got the butter. They got the butter. All right. Let's do a little liner. Little liner for my glam bunny. Me and Rhonda say foxes. Ooh, I love that. That's a good one. What? Um, uh, Taylor and Rhonda's animal that they identify with is our foxes. Good answer. Foxes? So foxes, indeed. Ooh, I love foxes. So the, There's so uh, many animals I like. Yes, well, I, I, me as well. I can't, I'm gonna have to think if I have any I particularly identify with, but. I, I love, love llamas. Them. Llamas are llamas. pretty awesome. Llamas are. I mean, I do love horses, but that's like such a horse girl thing to say. I mean, I just, I'm a horse. Um, I uh, I have a fox story, but let me read this real quick. Uh, Danielle Elizabeth says, "Yours, your love attention. Yours love attention more than I realize. Oh, your cats. I got mm -hmm. lots of lap time and holding time when I was picking up the setup." <laughs> Oh yeah, they. She has very needy cats. They're very lovey. I find that male cats are in general kind of more lovey. Yeah, I think that they have that. I don't know. Um. Oh, so we are fostering a three-legged, accidentally in heat <laughs> dog. This poor baby, she, they said they fixed her after they removed her leg. It was it had to be amputated after an accident and they did not fix her. But anyway, um, Taylor and Rhonda, I'll have to send y'all a picture because with her three legs, she's missing a back leg. And when she runs, she just kind of hops. It doesn't slow her down. And um, she looks, but she's red and she looks like a fox, especially from the back because her butt, like it just looks like you're running behind a fox. And it's, she's so cute. So sometimes I call her fantastic Mrs. Fox. That's <laughs> Which is a very long nickname. Uh, Andrea said, I bid on several of the llamas from the llama house float. Oh, are they already Ooh. doing that? You can ride a llama? I don't, I don't, it did some, it, are you saying that or are you asking that? <laughs> Danielle? Can you ride a llama? <laughs> Andrew is saying she's bidding on, they had a llama house float and they were auctioning off the pieces of it after they took the float down. <laughs> she said, I went. There were so many house floats that I didn't see. I was very sad that I just didn't get to experience very many. It was too cold. I was like, uh. It was very cold. We went and saw our last one today. They're taking it down. It's, um, I have to post all my photos, but the uh, on the labyrinth, uh, or uh, oh, excuse me, at Stronghold Studios, they did a labyrinth um, house float, and it is amazing. Um, it's really oh, they really just painted an amazing scene of the labyrinth, um, and they had all the characters, all your favorite characters, but they were dressed like had Mardi Gras beads on, or like Toby the creepy baby had like of purple, green, and gold stripes instead of red and white. Yeah, I'll show you the pictures, Andrea. I need to post all mine. And if anyone is just tuning in, um, say hi, pop in the comments, and let us know if there's any animal that really speaks to you um, and your personality. I can't believe I don't have an answer for this. I'm asking the question. I just love dogs so much, but I'm certainly not a dog. I'm not like, I mean, I'm kind of a people pleaser, but also, I have more attitude than most dogs. So um, let's see, what. where do I go from here as a doe? Um, so yeah, they have white spots, but I wonder if glitter would work. I'm gonna do my eyes. I'll just do my eyes first and see. How do they look? Oh, they, they line those bad boys. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try to keep it simple on my eyes, which I never do. So Danielle, when you, so you came in, um, Andrea says, I don't recommend watching the labyrinth in IMAX. That sounds amazing. I'm guessing also terrifying is what you're saying. It's so funny. I was so scared of so many movies when I was a kid, but the labyrinth was my favorite movie in kindergarten, which is truly terrifying. <laughs> the movie's ridiculous. Um, all right. 
I'm gonna let's see. Oh, so Danielle, when you put the gel, the Sazerac with gel, you didn't blend it, right? You just kind of did that shape or you did blend? Well, I blended after, but to get the initial like shape I wanted, I just basically painted it on. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start, I'm going to try, I'm going to go with Kat's method. I'm going to try to start with dry and then I'm going to go. David Bowie's David Bowie's crotch is too much. Well, let me tell you something, Andrea. David Bowie's crotch is how I, as a young girl, knew that I was interested in boys. Because <laughs> I, I was like, hello, what's happening here? And also, it's when I figured out that I like an androgynous. I'm like, I like my men to look like ladies. Am I right? That's how I'm like, I like the bulge, but just such a pretty face. Love David Bowie. I had the biggest crush on him. Biggest crush. But yeah, I can only imagine how how large that is on uh on screen. All right. Yeah, and this is just flirtily and Sazerac dry on my eye. And I kind of like it subtle like this for for this for this look. I love flirtily. I don't really use it very often. Mm -hmm. That was what was fun about our, when um, we did the creative capsules, we did very like specifically color centric looks. And I, every time I was like, eh, I don't tend towards these colors. Then that was like my favorite capsule. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, I would have never put this together. And then even when we do these look clubs, I literally put the colors together, but I would never normally put them together. But having a theme is really fun. So even if y'all are not doing any looks tonight, I hope y'all kind of do the same thing. Go look at your makeup. I don't know about y'all, but you, I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I never use. Just stuff that I'm like, I, I should throw this away, but it's like if before you throw it away or give it away or whatever, just why not be like, okay, give yourself a, a theme, give yourself something, a not normal look to do with it and just see what you can actually do with do with them. And if they're if they're worth anything. Sometimes I just keep stuff because the packaging is pretty. And then I'm like, this is not pigmented. This isn't good. I am um I'm definitely cowardly lion. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> you are starting to look like a lion. If you did like bushy eyebrows. Okay, I think I'm just going that way. Obviously, why fight what's happening? <laughs> what? How, how does he talk? What are things he says? Oh, I don't, I don't know what I feel like. <laughs> you do look like a lion. All right, okay, I'm going to do it. I mean, I literally looked exactly like him earlier, just with the nose. So I guess I'll add, I know what to do to go back to that. All right, I'm not a doe anymore. I am a cowardly lion, except for I'm not very cowardly. Pretty... No, you're not. You're pretty brave. I'm pretty, br I'm pretty fearless and sometimes in dumb ways. So, um, except for heights based things. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Like I can fly, I can do anything like that. But if you make me get up like 50 feet in the air, I'm like, that's very high. I don't, I don't like that. You look so cute, Danielle. Thank you. I feel like a bunny. That's what you should feel like. So here's a crazy bunny story. I like your bushy eyebrow idea. I'm going to try to do that. My, or at least I'm standing them up. So um, my sister and I, we had bunnies growing up and, um, but they, uh, she has four kids, too many kids to have animals. They're just, she's just like, it's not happening. They had a dog. It's just too much for everybody. So, um, but they won a bunny at like a, <laughs> for Easter, which is ridiculous. Oh, God. We'll give children animals like as a prize for something. But anyway, like, they put in like how many jelly beans are in the jar and one of her kids guessed it right. And they like called her days later, like you won the bunny. And she was like, Oh my God, like I just let them put the thing in the thing, but now we have a bunny. So they got a bunny and then she ended up loving this thing more than the kids did. And, um, he somehow got out, something happened and he got out of his crate or his, cage I don't know what you call it, a rabbit thing I guess but um she was very upset it was a white rabbit 
and it got out and she lives in the country in Ascension Parish and um, country to me. I mean, not super country, but um, and she got three different calls. People found three different white rabbits in her area. And she claims none of them were the rabbit. And I was like, but, but white rabbits don't exist in nature, right? And she was like, no. But in one day, somehow people found three white rabbits. I was like, why don't you just take one and give it to the kids? <laughs> like, what did you do with the other one? Let's see. Chris says the thing in the thing, so we got a bunny. Okay, I'm not sure what the thing in the thing is, but I know how that is how where bunnies come from, I think. <laughs> um Okay, now I need to look up a lion, I think, because I'm changing. Where do I, I need? Oh, I need. You look like a lion. Yes. I know. I think I'm just going to do. I might need to get. I, I'm going to, I think, need um, liquid liner to do. I don't know. Are you doing. Uh, crit, are you doing. Um, uh, liquid liner to do your dots? Or are you just. Or mm -mm. No, your, I was going to just use. Obsidian. I, yeah. And actually, I mean, my liner is obsidian. Um, all of this nose detail, the um, split is obsidian. And then kind of in my crease, I have a little obsidian. So the very. I was going to do white. When I was going to be a doe, I was going to do white around my eye, but I think I'm just going to do. Um, Mm, I just did obsidian, but probably I should do a little dark brew as well to kind of. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to do some little dots. I need to look up the cowardly line. <laughs> now I just, anyone got a yarn wig so I can get in the character? All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, I should have definitely done different on the eyebrows for a cowardly lion, but you know what? Here we are. Um, oh, I see. I know what I can do to be a little more cowardly. I, I see. I can do my contour a little. <clears throat> I'm going to get some more dark rue. And I'll use like a a bit of a bigger brush. Mm -hmm. He kind of has this like jowly thing going. Um. Oh, yes. And I'm just going to blend that out and because then that kind of makes him kind of like, oh. I'm actually scared of the Wizard of Oz. So we're saying that I'm like a real big wuss with animal, like, or excuse me, with uh, with like movies when I was a kid. So like, I won't watch some of the movies that are just completely normal because I was afraid of them when I was a child. Uh, one of them, which I think is completely uh, warranted is The Last Unicorn. People love that one or The Dark Crystal or The Never Ending Story. Like I was afraid of all of these movies when I was a kid. Yet I love the labyrinth, so I don't really understand that one. But um, well, that was too much. Now I have a I feel like I need to blend me. There we go. Andrea says, "What? I'm assuming she means because I'm afraid of every movie, or which ones I'm afraid of. I mean, it's really crazy. I'm afraid of the Wizard of Oz. It really freaks me out. I think I just like." I really like over the top um, costume and makeup and all that. And when I like it, I love it and I get obsessed with it, especially like when I was a kid. But then when I, it just something is creepy to me, I really like, just don't want to look at it. I don't know. Maybe there's some, something that was, but I tried to rewatch Never Ending Story. My husband is like, you have to like Never Ending Story. So we tried to, I tried to rewatch it recently and I was like, I couldn't get past, I can't even remember where, but I was like, I can't, I can't do it. It's upsetting. <laughs> I don't know why. Is that the one with Fred Savage? No, that, what? No, that's um the Princess Bride. You don't, mm. you, 
You know the Princess Bride. I do love the Princess Bride. But that is a really good. Yeah, that one's good. Um, one of my favorite movies growing up, which is unrelated, but was Coming to America, and they're coming out with a oh, second yeah. in March. I'm so excited. Um, oh, okay, so it was uh, The Last Unicorn that Andrew was upset about. I would rent The Last Unicorn every week, return it to rent it again until my mom was like, hey, we need to rent something different. I also love The Dark Crystal. I even had the little 45 vinyl read-along. Oh, wow. Yeah, my sister loved it. I mean, I probably saw The Last Unicorn several times. Oh, Fred Savage was Little Monsters or both. Oh, there you go. Was that what you meant, Danielle? Fred I don't know. That one, I don't know, maybe not. Mm -hmm. I got a little, I guess I'll go, I'll start going for my, oh wait, I never finished my liner. I'm all over the place. Okay. Let's see. Wonder if I can um, just make my brows a little more lion-like. I just accentuated my nose a little more. Yeah, you're looking really good. You're looking so cute. And I really like that it's um like a like a, I again I think you're like a hair. You're like a little natural an au natural bunny. One that you would find in the woods, <laughs> not a white one. Elizabeth said, so excited. Been watching that since I was in preschool. Didn't know it was rated R until fifth grade and can't wait to see Coming to America 2. I know, right? I think about that too. I watched it probably the same age, except for I had a, we recorded it off of the, um, off of TV. So we had the pretty edited version. Cause the only part I remember about is when they're like, would you like to, would you, something about washing the royal penis? And I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> so I might've been younger than even fifth grade. Um, Cause I think in fifth grade, I was like, that's cool. I know that word, but <laughs> um, I don't remember that part. I know I'm excited. It looks really good. Very rarely do you like, is something that you've been waiting that long for look, looks like it will actually fulfill, but it looks like coming to America will, which I watch that movie still every few years and it holds up, especially like as a comedian, I watch movies that I liked when I was a kid. I was like, wow, this is real dumb and bad and, but not coming to America. It is so good. It's so good. So good. All right. I remember it being quite funny. <laughs> I remember it being quite funny. My grandparents were horrified. My parents let us see the full version. I can't remember. I watched some. Oh, I, rem I have a horrible grandparent story. <laughs> um, my grandparents, I was with them and I was watching Saturday Night Live, which is all right. Okay. And I was, I think in like sixth grade <clears throat> and um, there was a, a actually hilarious sketch where it was like life, like Scooby-Doo, uh, the cast of Scooby-Doo comes to life and, um, but they were like in trust. So they had like a newscaster like interviewing them like, hi, so you're, you're, you, you kids have been meddling and you know, you're actually going to get in trouble for all that, whatever. Anyway, so it was supposed to be like a new, like a, a news anchor that was reporting on the, the mystery team was being arrested for one count of meddling, meddling in the third degree. And they're like going through all the, it, it was cute. It was a good sketch. And then they start going through all this, like meddling with the ghost, meddling with, and just all this dumb stuff. And then at the end they're like, and sodomy. And then they're like, oh, no, no, sorry, that was just one more count of meddling. And I was in sixth grade and I asked my grandparents, I was like, what sodomy? <laughs> <laughs> so. And what did they say? I don't remember at all. I really do. I, they did not answer the question at all. Thank God. Because I still didn't know for years, I don't believe. <laughs> um, something very vague. They're like, mm, a sin? I don't know. I really don't. I don't even <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say anything, but they were very conservative. <laughs> so, all right, I am rounding up my look. You're rounding doing it up. right at an hour. Wow, your eyeliner looks so good. So you just, what did you do? I mean, that is literally the gel and obsidian. The, the gel transformer. Yeah, in obsidian. Like it looks so good. What brush did you use? 
I used one of the little brushes that come with your purchase. See, I need to do that. I'm going to do that. That's what I'm about to use to do. Speaking of, I just lost my little brush. Um, oh, I just opened it. It probably rolled somewhere. Oh, there you are. There you are. So I'm going to do that too. And you did gel transformer with the obsidian to do the uh, your little dots. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do too. All right. You look so cute. Oh my gosh, I just realized I have a wig that is very Cowardly Lion. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, y'all, just wait. I have to. Do well, just wait until the Facebook group because I'm not going to pull it out <laughs> for the live. But um, we, at the beginning of this, um, if you scroll up in the comments or let's see, I'll just paste it again. There we go. That's our Facebook group. Um, if you want to share different looks you do or give encouraging words or learn about makeup with like-minded friends. Join that group. I need to not talk while I die. Tell us a story, Danya. Um, I'm a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh. And, hmm. What kind of story can I tell? I had a long day today. Today was one of those days I was just like spent, exhausted. But it was a good day too. Oh, well, that didn't go right. Um, I'm just like getting more and more, more and more pigment on. The longer we go, just the- we do. That's what we need. More. You can be Officer Hops in Zootopia, Elizabeth says about Danielle. What? You could be the bunny in Zootopia, um, says. I've never seen that movie. There's no, I, you're talking about this Lost Unicorn movie? I've never seen that either. It's an animated film. but Well, both are, I suppose. Um, Zootopia, not scary at all. <laughs> um, Zootopia is cute. It's uh, it's like one of those films that it just does a really good. It's basically like any person human who is a bigot or a racist. You're like, could you just could you watch this child's film that even a child could understand? It's it's really great moral. It's really it's a cute. It's cute. Um, I don't remember the point or the the moral of the story of the last unicorn except for scary, sad. <laughs> there was a bull that really that really traumatized me. It's funny how like the weirdest things about movies will stick with you as a kid. All right, these are very uneven, but you know I'm talking to what can we do? Mm -hmm. Very cute. Thank you. You too. Um, who who would be like? Which way did he go? Or was that a different movie? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? You're that's um Alice in Wonderland, right? Oh, whoops. Okay. You can be late. Well, what were you doing? <laughs> what were you doing? I was trying to do a cowardly lion. Oh, uh, oh, here I'm, I'm cowardly. Oh, it looks like Cowardly Lion has um some highlighter. So watch out, world. I'm gonna. I got my. You gotta I'm finishing wait. this look off with a little bit of iridescent glitter, just for a little, little <gasps> that bunny sparkle. Oh my gosh! Thanks for saying that. I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little. Uh, where do I put my golden bronze? Hmm. I mean, I feel like you could kind of use it as like a contour over your contour. Mm hmm okay. Or possibly like do like a glitter under eye thing. Okay. Wait, wait. just get my, darken my shaddy a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's the thing about Wood Club when someone's done before. I'm a little, <laughs> just what? 
So that's the thing about Look Club, when someone's done before you, you just keep adding. <laughs> Sorry, what are you doing? Oh, I'm putting a little sparkle on the tip of my nose. Oh, cute. And then I'm using the leftover iridescent glitter as a as an under eye brightener. Why not? Good idea. Okay, and I'm just doing a little bit of very quick liner like Danielle did with this brush, which I've never done, or I mean, I've done, but not with obsidian, like a regular black liner. I've used it with my angle brush. That's how I like to do it, liner. Uh, Elizabeth says, I don't remember watching Dark Crystal or Last Unicorn. I uh, would have to ask my brother, but loved Labyrinth and Never Ending Story and Little Monsters, despite being scared. Prince uh, Princess Bride was a fave as well, but called it the Zorro movie until high school and my brother never corrected me. Well, that sounds like a good brother. That's cute. <laughs> Isn't it funny that the, when, so Danielle came up with the idea to do animals today and I was like, oh wait, there's so many different animals. What color do we pick? And then I was like, oh, I feel like if we just do neutrals, that could be <laughs> almost any animal. Mm hmm nature does tend to be neutral except for like peacocks that's probably why i like peacocks because they're so bright they're flamboyant like exactly. like us uh geese are real jerks <laughs> they are. <laughs> But you look, those are ones like you look, you're like, wow, that, or geese and uh, swans. You're like, that, those are gorgeous and majestic. You're like, wow, you're a real ass. Um, but I've gotten bit by a geese, a goose before. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah. Eek, eek, eek. Andrea, I had separate. white pants on and it was a white goose. And I think it was like, <laughs> fuck your white pants. <laughs> That's mine. <my> <laughs> That's my color. <laughs> Maybe it was just after Labor Day and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> we give you that many, much of the year, human. And no. Okay. Andrea says birds would be fun to do. And yes, geese are me. Um, Ooh, bird looks, bird inspired looks would be bird fun. inspired look, been chased by geese and swan. God, <laughs> Elizabeth says, wow, uh, we all have, <laughs> no, actually, I haven't had experience. I've seen other people have experiences with geese, but um, okay, I'm, oh, wait, I forgot. I got to do my bolt bomb. I also kind of wanted to make my eyebrows less. They kind of, I did it with the gel transformer, so it already set so well. I couldn't, I didn't really, I wasn't able to kind of. Change them. Some people were doing more. Eh, whatever. Their eyebrows. What can you do? Animals don't really have eyebrows, do they? I'm trying to look at my cat. Minion, look at me. <laughs> Let me see your brows, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea says, my cousin lived on a farm, and the goose chased me out of the little house, and I never went back to their house again. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> your family's like, we really miss Andrea, but we're not getting rid of the goose. <laughs> Um, I used to ride horses and, um, they had a little Shetland pony or maybe somebody brought a Shetland pony, uh, pepper glitter pants. Geese has also has giant poop. We all, we all with the geese bags. <laughs> no, but I rode a, uh, a Shetland pony. I got on and they can, they could hold, I was a kid. I was maybe like 12, so it could hold my weight. But if you got on top of it, your feet were like, I don't know, maybe... 10 inches off the ground, like you were not far from the ground at all. Um, but this, I, this um, Shetland pony I ran, just, I mean, I got on, just took off, ran me through a barn, which I got in major trouble um, where I rode horses. And they're like, get off. Cause like, really, I probably could have just like hopped off, <laughs> I was, like holding and crouching. And I was like, I don't know what to do. There are no reins. And this little thing is crazy. But like, if it was a horse, I knew how to fall off a, a freaking, you know, 16 foot horse 16 no that's too tall but 16 hands well anyway a horse i could fall off but the shetland pony i just like clung to dear life as it ran me all around and i got mocked real hard for not just like getting off of it <laughs> and, um, elizabeth says two ganders stayed between the house and the barn and would chase me if an adult or, or older kid was with me at my aunt's farm man geese suck y'all 
We have it figured out. Geese, no thanks. All right. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for some. Well, um, I wish I had actual whiskers. Like, wouldn't it be cool if I had actual whiskers that were sticking out of my face and they went? Yeah, you could probably do that with eyelash glue, but I don't know where you get or you would get the actual whisker part. But yeah, that when I brought my suitcase home and cleaned it out, I got rid of my scissors that were in my suitcase. So now I don't have any way to cut paper into whiskers. <laughs> Let me see. What? Ooh, yes. I'm wondering if I should just do kind of like, eh. I was going to do like glitter freckles, maybe. Oh, I like that sparkle. Well, because it's golden bronze. It's real pretty. It's my fave. I <laughs> know. It's so good. All right. Well, I'm going to try. I think maybe would. Well, let's see. Do I want to do contour? Or do I want to do like freckly? I don't know. I think I'm just going to do like home oh, cheeks. Let's see. Gotta, I'm going to try a Q tip so I can kind of. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yay. All right. What y'all think in the comments? And yeah, I think I like it because it kind of goes with the. It gives you like a fur, furish look. Oh, does it? Okay. All right. Well, let's. Stick with that. Remember earlier I said you can't, you never see anyone wearing glitter and being like mean and sad, but now I'm cowardly and I'm wearing glitter. Um, I'm a cute cowardly lion or as all my costumes, I'm a, I'm a sexy cowardly lion. I'm like, I'm so bad. I'm cowardly. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think I like it. Not really some texture definitely yay says elizabeth i mean if i ask if i should put on glitter y'all are gonna say yes right <laughs> i feel oh. like you could also do like up from the brow like you know okay. i don't know why i try it oh i'm like okay here is that what you mean i don't know I think it looks really good. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna do a little bit of the flirtily in the center of my lip. Oh, that's right. Actually, I can change my lip now because I did it because I was gonna be a deer <clears throat> and now I am a cowardly lion. And that's sometimes you're a different animal than when you started. Okay. I'm just a bunny. <laughs> your hair is what I'm calling you. I wish I had some lettuce. Um. Or banana, <laughs> says Elizabeth. <laughs> I bet bunnies like apples. I bet they do. You, need, you can snack on. Okay, I think I'm still gonna do a little flirtily. Where are you at, little? Mm -mm. There you are. So, comment okay. in the comments. Is that what I say? Comment in the comments. Write in the comments if you um, want to do a St. Patrick's Day meetup, like a Google meetup, like get ready for St. Patrick's Day in two weeks. On a Tuesday. Like, on a Tuesday, which is actually, I think, the day before St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. Is it? Um, it two weeks. It's a little early. What is... What does the calendar say? So two weeks would be, ah, it, no, it's it's like that, no, because it's the week before. Yeah. But we could do, we could do some, some uh, luck of the Irish looks. Unicorn. Andrea says, yes. Like, I mean, it, and it could be anything like related to that. Like, think about, you could be a snake or maybe you could be a leprechaun or maybe you could be a COVID spreading Irish man that's trying to kiss everyone at the parade. Um, uh, Pepper Glitter Pants, who's uh, with us now, did a really good, she always has great St. Patrick's Day costumes and really does it up because the parade goes by her house in Baton Rouge. But she, one year she made us all, um, we were snakes and she was St. Patrick and she was charming us. Ooh, so that see was, that sounds like fun. 
yeah, so we have a lot of snake uh, costumes from that. And that was cool too, because that was the first time I did the, like the how you do with the mermaid and do a fishnet stocking. We we did that to do um, the snakes. Andrea says, LOA, yes, uh, passing out carnations. So you'd be the creepy the guy <laughs> kissing and, and giving out um, carnations. All right. I think I'm almost and done. they'd always be like, they'd be like, right here, give me a kiss. And then when you go and give them a kiss, they're like, eh. Isn't that so endearing and not creepy at all? <laughs> okay. How am I doing? I think, I guess I'm done. I feel like I, I, I can't wait to see it with the wig. Okay. Yeah. The wig, the wig is good. I mean, Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait a second. I, I moved all my wig storage. Hang on. Talk amongst yourself, Danielle. Tell us. Oh, gosh. Now I have to be interesting. <laughs> all right. So today was a good day for me. It was busy at work. Super busy. I worked late. I literally shoved food in my face like five minutes before we started uh, this little streaming thing. But um, I think it was a good day because someone wrote a Google review of the place that I work and they named me in it and it was a five-star review. So I was like super like beaming with pride that this family said, and thank you to Miss Danielle for taking care of us and taking such good care of us. And I was like, Oh, it just melted my little heart. It was awesome. Andrea says, woo. Good job, Danielle. That's sweet. All right, that's awesome. I'm a thirsty little rabbit. <laughs> Ooh, that is a lion. Hey. This is <laughs> this is actually my mom's wig. I think she had bought it for St. Patrick's. Oh, if only you had like ears. <laughs> I don't think I have ears, but I am very. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. That lion look. You're definitely a lioness. I'm a cowardly lion. <laughs> uh, it's fun. I'd like to try leopards next time. I know. I wanted to do it, but then I was also like, oh, it's, I'm so nervous. Like, not ner not that it's high stakes or anything, but I just, I feel like you kind of have to concentrate, and I am ever barely concentrating during look club. Okay. So I feel like, lean in, Danielle. You, you look so pretty, but you look very matte. You look like, like shimmery, but not, I don't know, you look really pretty. <laughs> you look You're cutting out a little bit. You so look, I don't know why I'm leaning in closer to hear you, but I am. <laughs> you look pretty. <laughs> All right. I think we're good. I think we're animals. Yes. Yay. All right. Well, I might. Oh, so if you haven't, um, I'll post again. That's our Facebook group. If you're not in the Facebook group, um, you can uh Request to join there so you can see Danielle. You're, you'll post your pictures or send me. We'll post pictures in the Facebook group of our animals. I'm assuming you're inviting everyone to the club. There's yeah. a link in the yeah. comments. Yeah. Join the look club. Have fun with us. I don't know. Don't have fun with mock us. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> mock us. But we're having fun. Yes. And we will, um, I'll mention in the comments in the group, I'll uh, see if we, if enough people want to do the St. Patrick's Day um, parte. So, all right. Well, great job, Danielle. You look super cute and pretty. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I think we're saying goodbye. But it's <laughs> cutting out on my end. It's hard to tell. We are saying goodbye and from a beautiful hair. And bye. A Thanks for it. tuning in, hanging out, invite some people the look club we can't wait to see what you create this week so please uh make yourself an animal could thing could be a bunny could be a deer could be uh ant eater i don't know do something fun post it know what you're going to be this week thanks for watching thank you bye everybody